Chapter 38 And after that Judah spoke to Jacob his father, and said to him, Bend your bow, father, and send forth your arrows, and cast down the adversary, and slay the enemy. And may you have the power, for we shall not kill your brother, for he is such as you, and he is like you. Let us give him this honor. Then Jacob bent his bow, and sent forth the arrow, and struck Esau, his brother, on his right breast, and killed him. And again he sent forth an arrow, and struck Adoran, the Aramean, on the left breast, and drove him backward, and killed him. And then went forth the sons of Jacob, they and their servants, dividing themselves into companies on the four sides of the tower. And Judah went forth in front, and Naphtali and Gad with him, and fifty servants with him on the south side of the tower. And they killed all they found before them, and not one individual of them escaped. And Levi and Dan and Asher went forth on the east side of the tower, and fifty men were them, and they killed the fighting men of Moab and Ammon. And Reuben and Issachar and Zebulun went forth on the north side of the tower, and fifty men were them, and they slew the fighting men of the Philistines. And Simeon and Benjamin and Enoch, Reuben's son, went forth on the west side of the tower, and fifty men with them, and they slew of Edom and the Horites four hundred men, stout warriors, and six hundred fled, and four of the sons of Esau fled with them, and left their father laying dead, as he had fallen on the hill which is in Adurim. And the sons of Jacob pursued after them to the mountains of Seir, and Jacob buried his brother on the hill which is in Adurim and he returned to his house. And the sons of Jacob pressed hard upon the sons of Esau in the mountains of Seir, and bowed their necks so that they became servants of the sons of Jacob. And they sent to their father to inquire whether they should make peace with them or kill them. And Jacob sent word to his sons that they should make peace. And they made peace with them, and placed the yoke of servitude upon them, so that they paid tribute to Jacob and to his sons always. And they continued to pay tribute to Jacob until the day that he went down into Egypt. And the sons of Edom have not come out from under the yoke of servitude which the twelve sons of Jacob had imposed on them until this day. And these are the kings that reigned in Edom before there reigned any king over the children of Israel until this day in the land of Edom. And Balak, the son of Beor, reigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Danaba. And Balak died, and Jobab, the son of Zara of Bozer, reigned in his stead. And Jobab died, and Assam, of the land of Teman, reigned in his stead. And Assam died, and Adith, the son of Barad, who slew Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Avith. And Adith died, and Salmon, from Amasica, reigned in his stead. And Salmon died, and Saul of Rehoboth, by the river, reigned in his stead. And Saul died, and Baalanan, the son of Akbor, reigned in his stead. And Baalanan, the son of Akbor, died, and Adath reigned in his stead, and the name of his wife was Maedabith, the daughter of Matarat, the daughter of Medabedzab. These are the kings who reigned in the land of Edom.